let's get into one of my family's favorites, Sakatemi cake. You're gonna go ahead and take two sticks of unsalted butter and cream them together with three cups of sugar till it's nice and fluffy. Then you're gonna take one teaspoon of vanilla paste. Now, if you have vanilla extract, that's perfectly fine. You can use a vanilla bean as well. And then you're gonna take six eggs and add them in one by one. Now you're gonna take some of your sour cream mixture and your flour and alternate that by mixing it in a little by little, just so it's fully incorporated. So now that the batter is beautiful and silky, we're gonna go ahead and get into our Sakatemi cinnamon mixture. It has three tablespoons of brown sugar, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some pumpkin spice because pumpkin spice makes everything nice, baby. We're gonna go ahead and add pecans to that. If you have a nut allergy, please do not add that. So I have half of my cake batter down, then I'm gonna go ahead with my cinnamon mixture, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the cake filling on top of that. You wanna make sure that everything is even and there's no sides that are bigger than the other. That's why you, afterwards, you could go in with a spoon, knife or fork, whatever you have, and smooth it all down. After you go ahead and even it all out, you're gonna wipe down the sides and put it in the oven at 325 for about an hour and 20 minutes. Now look at that gorgeous cake right there, baby. Go ahead and try it. Enjoy.